Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Ferris State Volleyball. I'm joined by head coach Tia Brando Wilhelm. Coach, welcome to the show. Good, excited to be here again. Thanks. Uh, obviously, a big week last week. Uh, before we get to this past weekend, I uh, had a big match to start off the week on Monday, uh, Kids Day, with uh, a uh, lot of local elementary yeah. students for a big win over Lake Superior. Yeah, that was really a lot of fun. We had, you know, almost a thousand uh, elementary, middle school uh, students from the area. It was so much fun to have them there. They're super enthusiastic and. You know, just it was a it was a really cool environment. How nice was it to be back at home for three straight matches this past week? It seems like you haven't uh -huh. played a, a whole lot of home matches here over the course I know, of the year. We've played a few, but not as many as we normally would. And uh, yeah, it's just it's different, definitely different to be at home. Obviously, on Friday after the win over Lake Superior, you came back, had a tough match against uh, Grand Valley State. Always uh, a rivalry type match, and uh, a team that uh, certainly battled uh, against you guys on Friday. Yeah, I mean, Grand Valley's got you know a lot of talent, uh, really strong team, and. And it definitely was, it showed in the match. Like it was very competitive, very back and forth. There are a lot of really long, exciting rallies for sure. Here in the opening set, uh, got off to a great start. Uh, you win this set 25-20, but uh, kind of back and forth uh, here early on against the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, we were down a little bit early and then it was kind of back and forth and, and we moved our way back up and, and pulled out that win. Obviously, uh, taking on Grand Valley for the second time uh, here this year, how, how much do things change maybe when you face a team for the second time? Yeah, it's it's the first year that the GLIAC's done this, you know, round rob double round robin, so you play everybody twice. Um, it's definitely different because you've already kind of put your stuff out there and, and done your game plan, and then you're going to have to see that again and, and see what adjustments each team makes and adjustments that you'll have to make within the game because they already know your game plan. Obviously, Grand Valley comes back in the second set and uh, gets a win. Maybe what did they do uh, a little bit differently here in the second set that kind of impacted the score? Um, I, th you know, I thought they hit. They were really going for it offensively. I thought they, you know, were really getting after it, and uh, you know, quite a few balls just went in. I thought I think they got I don't know like 20 kills in that set or something outrageous like that. Like it was it was a lot of their offense there. Obviously, I know you've you've played in Wink Arena in the past, like for for some of the postseason events. Uh, mm -hmm. How much more has it helped maybe this year getting a, a full preparation uh, time in there uh, over the course of the week? Yeah, I mean we're there every day. We've been there since January, so it's definitely you know it feels like it feels like our our uh, you know our second home for sure. But uh, I don't you know I don't think with this team that it really matters where we are. Um, there you know we've been on the road a lot. We've played there. We've played on the side courts in Wink. You know we just. We're kind of just, it doesn't really matter. We'll just kind of adjust to wherever we are and figure it out. Here in the fourth set, uh, after winning the third, uh, you take a 2-1 lead in the match. This one really back and forth. And it, both teams had some opportunities here in the final points to have a chance to win this one. Yeah, there, there were some big opportunities there at the end. 30-28, um, we had like a three-point lead in the 20s. So you kind of felt like maybe we could just finish that out. But we didn't. And then it became, you know, those extra innings there. And all the way to 30-28, and it was back and forth, and both teams had chances to win that. Get the win uh, to open up the weekend, and then obviously had another uh, match against Purdue Northwest, second time you've faced the Pride this season uh, yeah. on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, um, and, and Purdue Northwest has improved a lot through the season. Um, they have a lot of young kids, and they just keep getting better and better, so we knew it would be, you know, that, that they would come out strong in that match. Really able to come out. Uh, your team was able to come out, kind of take control, set the tone early in this match. Yeah, I thought, um, us coming out really focused with our serving and the way that we were running our offense, I thought was a big deal to kind of put them on their heels. And, and you know, we were able to get, a, you know, a little bit of a lead early in that first set, which was really nice. Cyan Fairfield having a big day for you in this one. Uh, named the GLIAC Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, Kaylee Matt, the GLIAC Setter of the Week. And uh, two young players that have continued to progress here over the course of the year. Yeah, you can say that about the whole team, right? <laughs> we're just all young and continuing to progress. And, you know, our whole thing of, just trying to get a little bit better every day is, you know, it's just it's starting to add up a little bit. And there's some things that we can do now that we couldn't do, you know, four or five, six weeks ago. Maybe talk about how the, the team chemistry has been uh, since the start of the year. And obviously, uh, as they get better uh, in terms of playing and together, and I'm sure yeah. they're gelling more together. Yeah, we spend a lot of time together, um, you know, obviously summer camps, preseason, but then we've been on the road a lot. So we just, we hang out together a lot. and. I think one of the things we were talking about with our team the other day is that uh, this is the kind of team, like we could do 1v1 kind of competitions in practice, but this team does better if you do like 2v2 or something because they just always play a lot harder for their teammate. You know, like they're just really, they, they want their teammates to do well, they want to do well for their teammates. And I think that shows in the way that we compete out there in the court. 
After one of the first two sets here in the third, able to get the win uh, to really uh, complete the sweep here against Purdue Northwest and nice to uh, not have this one go maybe to a fourth or a fifth set. Yeah, we're, we're definitely happy with that. We're able to also, you know, get some players in that maybe aren't getting out on the court during games a lot. And I thought it was really nice to get a chance to, um, you know, get them out there, get them a little comfortable and just knowing that they can go out there and be impactful either as servers or going in serve receive or even in the offensive end. Obviously, with the win, uh, Clinch, uh, we, we believe at least to share the conference championship. But I know the, go the goal to win it outright here with a couple wins this weekend. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think that this team is really long-term goal focused like that. Um, you know, definitely not the start of the season, not even really now. Like we're just we come into practice every day and try to get a little better, and we look who's who's next and what do we have to do to you know to be successful this weekend. Obviously, this weekend you start off on Friday night, uh, Saginaw Valley State, another team that's uh, really battled you close uh, here over the years. Yeah, very much. And Saginaw is a team that had a couple uh, injuries in the middle of the season, and they're playing really well right now. So we're expecting them to come in and it to be another back and forth battle. Finally, uh, Saturday, uh, senior day, and uh, I know a chance to honor uh, your senior class and always an important day and playing yeah. your final regular season home match, hard to believe. Yeah, it is hard to believe that it's here already, yep. And we'll play Davenport, who beat us early in the year. So, you know, that's definitely um, a focusing event. So, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be good to honor the seniors we have that are both new to the program, but <laughs> it'll be good to honor them, but also, you know, just to get another chance to compete. Obviously, uh, these matches are important in terms of the regional implications as well, as you sure. already looked to uh, the start of the conference tournament uh, coming up next week. It's uh, been a quick yeah. quick fall here for the Bulldogs. It's been really fast. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe this is the end of the regular season. We start conference play and then immediately turn around the week after that, and we'll find out if we you know get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. So um, I think that'll be really tight and really close, and you know we'd be excited and honored to have that chance. Well coach congratulations on a Thanks. great week and uh, best of luck this weekend as you take on Saginaw Valley and Davenport here at home. Thanks so much. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder you can follow all the action get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.